एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सो नाउ वी आर इन टीयू यू एंड कैंपस आई हैव सीन दिस टू फेमस फिगर्स दे वेर इन दिन स्ट्रीट tour like the walking tour of city of andoven abhijit was there and we have bibek who is doing phd soon will be also doing phd interview with bibek and uh, he has been also featured in many of the videos of the weekly market and other videos so in this video we will focus specifically on the uh, cheap survival guide for students in netherlands yes so we will discuss our experiences because i have lived in netherlands for almost 5 years now and abhijit has lived also for 2 years and vivek also 2 years for 2 years so we will be discussing the experiences like what are the cheap options how you can save some money as a student in netherlands and uh, what shops you can go for what are the the different schemes you can afford what are the free options so everything we are going to have a uh, just a discussion among us based on our experiences so we can start like maybe you can uh, any of you can come in and uh, say something about any shops which are relevant to get cheap products or groceries or well, okay that's with like uh, most important thing is groceries so there are uh, three or four important shops albertan is the biggest that's really popular then you have lidl jumbo turkish jumbo actually but then jumbo as they call it here and then there are some uh, local turkish markets and things like that so these are and there is one spark which is kind of expensive so among these i think uh, there are a lot of things uh, especially if an indian is coming to the netherlands mm-hmm. a lot of things that he'll find in the, in the turkish market that resembles his uh, choice of purchase or something like that so i think turkish market you can get chicken you can get uh, fish and things like that for cheaper prices and then for uh, other day to day groceries like a little is fractionally cheaper than alpha time but uh, it's not a big deal but yeah i still say little and you more slightly cheaper than alpha time yeah for like a bakery products i would prefer uh, alpha time yeah okay uh, now yeah we talk about quality quality I mean, yeah, yeah bakery yeah. products and uh, dairy products i think alpha time has a uh, yeah. little superior quality but it's not yeah. it's not a big difference actually yeah, but but yeah if you are in coming over here you have oh, if you are an indian and you are coming up over here then you will also have indian shops over here There are microphone shops. I think two shops over here. Yeah, I think. But then there, I've seen them slightly higher priced. Like yeah. for the same thing that I can get in Albertine for like about say one point five euros. The Indian shop I'll see one point nine nine euros. Something like that. So yeah, slightly higher priced. Generally, like you get paneer and things like that in Indian shops. Then, yeah, kind of expensive. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they were like two euros, three euros. I think even in India, that quality of T-shirt, like I don't think. I think I, I'm maybe getting, in big I'm cities you want. From Primax, I think they're six euros. Okay. You can't get six euro crocs. Yeah. yeah. So they are really, really cheap. And there was a video on Primark I made. You can see it flashing on the screen. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about housing a little bit, especially okay. in Eindhoven, because this is the place like where you see a lot of expat students coming. Also, ASML, Philips are here, so a lot of foreigners. It's the technology hub. It's, of, it's uh, uh, well, people call it actually uh, Brentport region of yeah, uh, Netherlands, of Netherlands or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Because they have, Philips has actually started here, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's that huge, and which is why the houses houses are kind of like expensive in Eindhoven, uh, living in uh, thing. So uh, what I would suggest is if you want to uh, buy a place, not buy uh, exactly rent a place. Yeah, the university campus is nice. Uh, I don't know. You can say you yeah. flash another video, maybe of the university campus. Oh uh, yeah, we made a video, so you'll see it flashing on the screen. <laughs> it, it, it's fancy. It's nice, but if you go on the outskirts, you'll find relatively cheaper houses. Yeah, I, I think that is true for uh, every. Where okay, yeah. Yeah, I've seen like always whenever you are going two three kilometers away from the city center, be it any city, houses always the prices reduce. Yeah. Yeah, but as far as students are concerned, like if you're studying over here, then uh -huh. I would recommend over to study uh, to live near the university because in that case you may get an allowance. I think you have a video on that. Yeah, yeah, the house rent yeah, allowance. Yes, how? Yeah. What are the conditions and how you apply? Yeah, but, and if you are doing a job. Then obviously this is not uh, you are not going to get any allowance and in that case it may go really high. So as you mentioned, like if you live in the outskirts, in that case, and you are doing a job, then actually you get a house, a very good house at a very cheaper rent. But if you in the university and you are not doing any job, then you get an allowance. So the base, uh, the final price comes down. But if you qualify, like if you are also in a private house, even away from yeah. the center, then also it's okay to yeah to live as a student. Like. Yeah, yeah, that's okay because uh, yeah. I I live with a bachelor student, so I know that it's fairly okay. Yeah, I mean it depends. Like if you don't want to bike two three kilometers and come to the university with the wind, rain, and other things, oh, then outside. <laughs> maybe we can start now on the eating outside options yeah because normally it is very expensive but i have heard from these guys that there are many cheap options that you can explore to eat outside so maybe you can yeah. share some of your experiences uh, as far as i know there are a lot of options where you get very cheap food there are many turkey shops the famous hisman bakery where you get cheap uh, shorma kind of things and uh, you have many iranian restaurants where you get uh, not uh, I would not I would not say uh, Indian food, but mm. sort of like Indian arrangement. And so today we'll be going by the way to the some that Indian so, uh, sorry that Iranian shop, and maybe you will see that video flashing on the screen if it comes before this video <laughs> or after this video. I don't know. And yeah, there is uh, a market uh, if I remember, government market uh, in center. Where ah, okay, have, that yeah, was also another video yeah. which Abhijit. Being our tour guides, showed it very nicely walking in a walking tour. Yeah, it so, was it was also cheap. So yeah, there are a lot of cheap items and uh, the and what is the approximate range of those places? Like five to ten euro, ten to fifteen euro. What is the range? I think minimum five, to maximum. Five to ten. Yeah, it okay. depends. If you're going in a, a shawarma shop and things like that, you are good to go within eight, nine euros, like five to ten euro. And if you want to eat maybe a little more, like yeah, suppose. Uh, Rice and or pasta or pizza or something. Yeah, ten euros. I think it's still decent. And there, I uh, recently I've uh, been looking around at some restaurants and I've found there are some also cheap uh, Asian restaurants. Okay. Uh, like Chinese and uh, things like uh, wok. Japanese yeah, wok and things like that, carry which you can get for like seven euros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean normally I've seen like some carry woks like which you can carry. They are they start from six or six and a half and they can range yeah. as high as. Yeah. But uh, if you want, yes, if you also want to go to some nice restaurant, fancy restaurants that are there in the center, I don't know if you showed them. Yeah, but then you can easily yeah, bill up to twenty-five to thirty euros. Yeah, yeah, so you can see that video flashing on the screen about the Eindhoven city walking tour. Yeah, like they also Indian restaurants. They are a little bit costlier, but obviously they will provide you Indian food, so you have to prefer taste over your uh, cost over there. So 
So by the way, we are not sponsored by them, but still yeah, we are promoting. Yeah, it's. Uh, they the, didn't even give it free on my birthday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The Touch of India, Taj Mahal, Lekar India, uh, Krishna Bilas, Sri Ganesh, and yeah, there are like four or five Indian restaurants, and they give you food at. Uh, one thing. Good price, yeah. Let's say for dinners, yes, the, that I used it sometimes. There are also some housewives in the Netherlands. Yeah. Okay. Actually, the cook and, and they advertise that okay, t- uh, today's menu is this. Uh, get this for seven euros, WhatsApp. eight euros. Yeah, exactly. Uh, via WhatsApp yeah, exactly. or via uh, Facebook, social and media, and things like that. Only Indian or Indian. I've uh, we have seen only yeah, Indian. Yeah, Indian than one Pakistani. So there are housewives okay. usually, uh, and they do that. Uh, I've I've tasted biryani. It's delicious. So those those options are generally cheap because they save some tax also. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> that I don't know exactly, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. because it's homemade and it's yeah. not really a business. Uh, apart from that, apart from the f- uh, eating outside and buying food from the supermarket and other places, there is also this concept of weekly markets, normally on weekends, on Saturday or Sunday. Right from the fruits, vegetables, food, clothing, yeah, everything, everything that you can think of, and those are very, re- uh, those are really cheap. So, so buying vegetables, fruits, and also whatever I remember, the prices they are also cheap, right? Yeah. Compared to Oh uh, no! Actually, compared to the supermarkets, they are some almost things the same. Are some things are really cheap, but some things are like. Almost. But I think we can get the freshness in those. Yeah, things. could be. I I I remember uh, one. Okay. One guy actually offered like uh, if you want to taste. Uh, he had a farm. He bought milk. Right? So it's like organic. Yeah. And he said if you want to taste, I like, really want to do that. Like so a, just like I mentioned in the Germany video, like a euro shop. So here also you have this yeah, concept of one euro. Yeah, there is a vegetable shop over there. You get everything in one euro. Like only vegetables. Uh, vegetables and fruits. Okay. Uh, yeah, for one euro. So for example, you get uh, let's say uh, medium sized uh, onions of like let's say twenty. experience as a master student uh, if he follows these options and also buys food cheaply then what can be estimated monthly expenses only on the food and other things not housing but only on food and other things so based on your experience what can be range of uh, expense you can spend on in a month like uh, cheap if you live cheaply Mm, well, it depends on how often we eat outside. So, for example, let's say we just eat uh, once in a week, uh, and we cook Indian food or home food uh, at our house. Then, I think a decent uh, estimate would be around hundred to hundred twenty euros. And yeah, with that you can eat once out uh, eat outside once, and you can cook your food at home. Yeah, I think one hundred to one hundred twenty euros could be your best estimate. Okay. Uh, what about you as a PhD? Because we get a salary, so our expenses are a bit higher, but still, maybe you can just know in one line what is this <laughs> expenditure range. I actually, yeah, I go out eating a lot outside, and sometimes so. But uh, if you, yeah, just for eating, actually, out uh, eating and food and things like that, it's I think uh, in three hundred euros you should be good to go. Okay. If you like, really want to sometimes spend lavishly, things like that, I go now and then. Eat. Sometimes goes up to five hundred euros. Mm-hmm. That's not you don't need it. That yeah. is more. So like don't follow his advice on as a student, but you, you can follow it later, yeah. like after you are earning. Yeah. Yeah. Once you start yeah, earning, yeah. it's just like yeah, spend on yourself. It's 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 an experience that is worth it. But uh, once okay. you start earning. But but yeah, you can spend. Don't worry, you can spend uh, around hundred euros, and you can even get Easily. a de- decent food. I mean, okay, you won't get the lavish food, but 
it's possible. That is enough. That's enough. Like for a student, at least I would say, because you know, we come here to not to uh, yeah. spend lavishly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I hope you like this video yeah. that we tried to cover, touch upon different points which can help you to give an idea about the cheap survival guide for students in Netherlands. So don't forget to smash the like button if you like this video, share this video, help each other out, all the friends who are out there, all your friends or who will be coming later to Netherlands and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Till next video, goodbye from Eindhoven, Netherlands. Thank you guys for joining. It's fancy when it looks better. <laughs> okay, that depends on your maintenance. But then if you go outside on the outskirts... <laughs> this will be behind the scenes.